Hello everyone, it's me, Clayson, and I just finished watching The Mitchells vs. The Machines, which is the latest Sony Pictures animated film that was produced by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who, are, who you might remember from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and the Lego Movie. And since it's from the same studio that brought you Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And with all that in mind, it should be absolutely no surprise that this film is not only a feast for the eyes when it comes to animation, but it tells a really well done and really heartfelt story about family and especially our obsession with technology. Well, let's get to the story, shall we? The story stars Katie Mitchell, played by Abby Jacobson. She's excited to go to a film college in California due to her absolute love for filmmaking. But her father, Rick, played by Danny McBride, doesn't exactly get his daughter's interests. And while, his mo and while her mother, Linda, play played by Maya Rudolph, and her brother, Aaron, do try to encourage her interests, her dad, let's just say, isn't very technologically skilled. So, in one last chance to connect with his daughter, Rick decides to cancel her tickets to college, and instead they're going to go for a big road trip there. All while a, me a mechanical apocalypse happens when, when this when this robot robotic phone app known as Pal happens to take over all the happens to take over all of the machines of Pal Laboratories and has its Eric Andre voiced creator imprisoned. So now the Mitchells have to take on the machines and find a way to shut them all down while also growing close together as a family as they should. So that's all. The story itself is actually pretty. It's pretty much a road trip from hell, but with a but with a robot apocalypse mixed in. And overall, it actually works well when it comes to this type of film. It keeps the pace. The pace is always going pretty fast without feeling overwhelming. The animation is very bright and colorful. Probably, it's it's a different style I would say than it was for Spider Verse, but it still manages to keep its fun tone. And even though it was released on Netflix just today, it hasn't lost any of its cinematic qualities when it comes to the quality or the artistry at work here. Plus, the voice cast is really great, too. Danny McBride's always a ton of fun. Maya Rudolph, I think she was born to play mom characters for most of her life. And Abby Jacobson, I think, really managed to... She really managed to reach to me, considering I'm a fan of filmmaking myself. I think she just gets the right amount of enthusiasm and also the right amount of flaws to make her a believable teenage hero. In fact, even the guest stars like Eric Andre didn't really annoy me as much as I thought they would. They do feel like actual characters and not just and not just these voice actors essentially playing themselves. And that should def another thing I definitely enjoyed about the film is all of the little touches to make it feel like a film made by Katie. There's a lot of filters thrown throughout the film. There's tons of running gags that poke fun at internet culture. There's even there's even a lot of commentary on people's obsession with technology and especially specific websites. And considering that we're in the COVID-19 pandemic and people have been online more than ever now, I think that message rings all the more true. Yes, the internet is absolutely necessary, but it's not something we should overly rely on. And, I'm like, and I like that Rick and Katie have both of their views expressed and they managed to come to a compromise, so to speak. While it also has plenty of references to other mo movies like Dawn of the Dead, Terminator, and plenty more that, de that genuinely feel like good jokes and not just lazy references. So if you want to see a Netflix family comedy and the best animated film of the year so far, look no further. Well. I would say it's about on the level of Raya the Last Dragon when it comes to its quality. So that's why I'm going to give it the Mitchells and the Machine versus the Machines a 9 out of 10. See you next time.